Hello, I'm Noah Fins, and this is Inside Yale Athletics, sponsored by Under Armour. You know, it's pretty unusual to have a freshman come in and contribute right away on a college football program. But Zane Dudak is doing just that, not only contributing, but having a major impact. <laughs> Freshman Zane Dudek doesn't have time to think about how well he's playing. For Dudek, it's not about the fact that he's chewing up yards like few freshmen in the country and regularly finding the end zone. He's averaging over 100 yards and more than a touchdown a game. To Dudek, it's all about the team success. I just had time to think about the next team that we're playing and focus on getting in the film, watching them, focus on school since it's Yale. So luckily I haven't had enough time to sit down and actually reflect. So I'd Glad that I haven't, that I, and I'll just be able to do that at the, at the end of the season when everything's blown over. But it's been awesome to, with what the team has been doing. We knew that coming in, he had he had the background. Um, he had the intangibles that we needed. And the question was, how fast can he actually use those and put it to work and, and, and pick up our offense? And it was pretty quick. Dudek set rushing records as a high schooler in western Pennsylvania, where he once rushed for 492 yards in one game. For his senior season, he had 2,955 yards and 42 touchdowns. Still, he wasn't heavily recruited by the top football powers. Penn State and Stanford invited him to walk on. To be honest, it was frustrating. Like, there, But I did everything in my power I do I could do to control, to get, to, to control my way of recruiting. He helped his high school team to conference championships, set records, and earn player of the year honors in an area rich in high school football talent. And now, it hasn't taken him long to prove that he can excel at the college level, something coach Tony Reno knew early. We recruited him all the way through. I think it was in his house four times. We knew what kind of player he could be, and I just loved him and his family. So, you know, for me, it was, you know, I, I this is a guy we, I really wanted. After it was all said and done, I honestly don't know if I would have went to one of those schools. Like I'm glad, I'm kind of glad they didn't offer me so I didn't have to try to make that decision. Because I, like how could you pass up Yale? It's Division I football at arguably the best school in the country and the world. How could, I, don't, I don't know how I could have passed that up. Yes, he's making a home for himself at Yale is a major part of what has been a well-balanced offense. And to think, he still has over three more years in the Bulldog backfield.